Welcome to episode 2. Now that the appliance is installed, we'll focus on onboarding devices and the accounts that exist on them. First let's talk about the template library. Templates define how the PXM appliance interacts with each device type. Standard PXM appliance interactions include fetching the software version of the device, auditing accounts from the device, and managing those accounts. As we onboard a device, we need to know two sets of data, the connection details for the device, and the credentials of an account with sufficient privilege to run the initial tasks. Once we've done this, we get to choose a control account. This is the account that the PXM platform will use to manage the device, and in this example we're going to use the account I just supplied as the control account, and we'll choose a known state. I'll explain what this means in the next step. Now that the device has been onboarded, let's have a look at the accounts page and filter for our new device. We can see a series of accounts and they all have a state. Some accounts are approved, some unapproved and one known. Approved means that we expected to see that account but we don't want to manage it. These are usually ordinary system accounts. Unapproved means the account exists on the device but the PXM platform didn't create it and it hasn't been defined in the template as a system account. If you see an unapproved account that should be there, you can simply change the state to approved. If you want to vault or manage the password of this account, you can change the state to known or managed. As well as utilising existing accounts, the PXM platform can create personalised, role-based accounts on devices for individual PXM users. These accounts have the state fully managed. This means that they were created by the platform, the credential lifecycle will be managed by the platform, and once it's no longer needed, maybe the user left the organisation, the account will be deleted by the platform, closing the loop and the attack surface. Here's how we can provide access to a device using both a managed existing account and a fully managed role-based account. When we choose the role-based account, the PXM platform connects to the device and creates a role-based account for us. When we change the access level to an existing account, the role-based account is deleted. We'll go through the user side in more detail in episode 3. In the meantime, here's how to get the free version, PXM Express. <laughs>